Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with some Trader Joe's goodies. Yes! We love Trader Joe's. We do. Whenever we go to America, we love going in there. We have yep. a look around. The packaging is always really interesting. They go down routes of products that you just don't see in normal supermarkets. They have There's just so many biscuits different and seaweed, whatever, and you're yeah. just like, Sainsbury's doesn't do that. The packaging's amazing. The products are usually pretty amazing, aren't yeah. they? The branding, the style. And also, I came across someone, I think it was TikTok. Yeah. And they, their job is writing all of the um, chalkboard signs. No you know way. how amazing yeah. they always are? Yeah. She does that and she says she That's loves cool. her job and every day she gets to do art. Yeah. And like all this lovely writing. Do you know who I'd like to come across on TikTok? Who? Someone on the team who comes up with a different yeah. product like theme. And if you're looking for something interesting to follow on TikTok, you can follow us. Yes. Down there. Exactly. This box is another from Michelle Rice. She has sent us a lot of boxes, so you'll be hearing that name for a while. Yeah, she sent us a year's worth of boxes. Um, <laughs> Literally. She's going to keep us busy in 2022. <laughs> yeah. But if you would like to send us a box or have an idea for a video, we've got a form down below that you can fill in and you can put what your exciting idea is for us to try. Yeah. But we want to say a big thank you to Michelle for this amazing box we will be sending Michelle a box of British treats back to enjoy if anyone else would like to get themselves a box we'll leave a link down below yeah and that's a great way for you guys to help support the channel shall we crack in yes let's get into it we've got um, two savory treats we've got ghosts and bats crispy Ooh. potato snacks oh actually these probably aren't savory oh maple yeah it's sea maple salt. flavored mm. with other natural flavors and sea salt kettle corn there once was a house in a forest dark where ghosts and bats upon a lark happened on to potato crisps and commenced munching forthwith. No squeaks or moaning were ever heard. Instead, a crunch, 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 so absurd. It was not long before of their favorite snacks, the ghosts and bats began to smack. Spooky. 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 I love the branding on this. Yeah, what flavor really are they? The flavor, it just says... Crispy potato Crispy snacks. Potato Maybe snacks. they're just like a, a ready song. Re yeah, original. Frickin' bats. Frickin bats. I love, love Halloween. Halloween. So, can we get... Oh, there are still some whole. They're free of gluten. Ooh. Spooky. Ooh, spooky. Did it look like it was flying? Yeah. And I'll take your hand out and post and it'll just be floating. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mmm. Nice original crisps. They're a bit like... um. They're like pom bears or something. Mm. It's almost like, you know, when you go for an Indian curry. An Indian it's curry, like a, yes. A popper dom in yeah, a way. Yeah, like dom. Yeah, it is. It really is it actually. Because I was going to say like a prawn cracker, mm. but it's not because that's kind of thick. thick. So if you've ever had a popper dom, this is just like a ready salted popper dom. Yeah, it's lovely. Really nice. Mm. I didn't see any bats, but I saw some ghosts. In yeah, there. maybe they mm. were. Um, have been broken up too much. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, really nice. Nice, just plain and simple. And I think with that Crisp. texture, ready salted works. Mm. If it was kind of like barbecue, it might just yeah. be too much. I think I would like um, sour cream and chives mm, or something like that. Sour cream and chives. Nice. That'd be good. What are you giving those out of 10? I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10. They're really good, yeah. but didn't blow my socks off. Yeah, cause... I'll give them 8 out of 10. They are really good, but then they're nothing spectacular. Yeah. It's more about the... The ghosts and bats in at a party can have them in a bowl. Mm. Maple flavoured with other natural flavours and sea salt. Isn't Kettle it funny corn. how they say maple flavoured with other natural flavours? Maple, it's magical. It flavours the sweet syrup that can be poured over pancakes and waffles to make an everyday breakfast. Simply spectacular. Now consider popcorn. Crunchy and delicate, the perfect snack for food. Add ingredients like maple sugar and sprinkle on some sea salt to create a sweet and savory miracle. It's a scrumptious blend of full inspired flavors in a crisp popcorn treat. Mm. Because yours was a poem, at first I was trying to read yeah. it like a poem and then I was like, oh, I was felt really stunted. Yeah. Okay, they look really delicious. Yeah. They look perfectly popped, mm. don't they? It's true. You don't usually, when you have maple syrup, have salt, do mm. you? You may, it's mainly just sweet, whereas actually the saltiness with the maple sweetness is really nice. Yeah. Otherwise, it could mm. be too sweet. I think Trader Joe's has some of the best popcorn. Mm. Yeah, Trader Joe's and um, Smart. Oh, smart, smart corn, food. Is it? Smart food. Mm. I was watching Riverdale. Betty is sat in this truck and she's eating the black flavour. Isn't that white cheddar or something? Yeah. Anyway, 
it has no like connection to the thing. She's the scene shows her she has like a mouthful and then yeah. she puts it back. I said to Matt, I was like, that's definitely like a product placement, yeah. isn't it? Because it's and not could like you she's fell on see the brand. It was a full. It was like this yeah. in shop. She did that and then she like put it to the side. Yeah. Some of them are so obvious nowadays where you like literally in a film see a shot of someone put it, put down, it down and you're like, that really didn't help the story. A it's lot just of them are like beats, because, weren't yeah, they? Do you yeah, remember? Yeah. They used to like play yeah. the music like yeah. that. <laughs> okay, that's delicious. What are you giving that? I'll give it a nine out of 10. It's not white cheddar. Yeah, but yeah. I'll give good. that a nine out of 10. Do you fancy opening these drinks? Yeah, let's do it. Now these aren't from Trader Joe's, but these were just in Michelle's box. These are called Body Armor Light. Mine's peach mango. And mine is blueberry pomegranate. And these say low calorie, no sugar added. Natural flavors and sweetness. Oh, coconut water. It's, oh it's yeah, yours. 10% coconut water. No colors from artificial sources. Antitoxins, electrolytes, B vitamins. Like I've never heard of this. No, neither. Body Smells Armor good. Light is the low calorie, no sugar added sports drink. Body Armor Light combines coconut water, potassium packed electrolytes and vitamins to provide superior hydration. Hmm. Like how much sugar is in this? Cause they say no added sugar. Oh, there's only 20 calories. Yeah, in this whole bottle. And usually um, with the drinks like this from America, they're really large and mm. they've got like 1.5 or two yeah. servings. Whereas this is just one. And only two grams of sugar. Mmm, that's delicious. That's nice. I think I might prefer yours. Mm. Mm. I think I might prefer really yours. Nice. Can, that is reminding me of something from growing up. I can definitely taste the um, the coconut, a little bit of coconut water. In there I can, but in this peach really? mango I, I can't. I can taste it more in there. Really? The peach mango is quite natural, isn't it? It isn't like too over the top. I think this one's more natural. This almost tastes like a cordial. I really it like does a bit, them. It doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. I, I didn't really think like that them. the first time, but. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're nice. Is that funny? Never heard of those before. No. Compared to a lot of the sports drinks out there, I think these are really good. Yeah. Because I thought they were going to be so watered down and not much flavour at all. Yeah, because I'm never that into the um, power raids and But also like because, that. like you say, they used to just be filled with so much sugar. Yeah. Whereas these actually aren't. Yeah. So I think they're a win. Yeah, pretty I good. Think they're actually a win. Mm. They're really good. Oh, can I actually show you yeah, something? Yes, so you next? show me something. I was so confused what this was. We've got Trader Joe's dried fruit. Hibiscus flowers. Mm. Is it Feel tea? it. I thought it was the balls like um, Liz got us that mm. time. It's dried fruit. What, like hibiscus? I think so. I've That's never funny. seen hibiscus. Look, I it looks like a could, demogorgon. I didn't realise you could eat hibiscus as a fruit. I thought you dry it and you'd have it as tea. A sweet and tart treat. Oh, it is tart, yeah. That's the thing. This is really interesting to try. I'm not sure I will like it, mm. but I'm really excited to try something new. Yeah, because I literally looked over there, saw hibiscus, and then saw the herbal tea there, and I thought, oh, we've got two teas two to teas. try. Ooh. Two teas. Two tea. Ooh. What does it look like? Demogorgon. Like a little mini octopus. Oh, or Byron! <laughs> Doesn't look like a flower, does it? That is scary. <laughs> I just really creeped out then. That is... It doesn't look the so nicest, does it? is it a hibiscus flower? Yeah. What? Look at that. It's like a flame. It looks like a campfire flame. What? I feel I'm like... I'm a bit um, scared. You know sometimes when you had um, like calamari? Yeah. And this some looks like of, an octopus. Some of them are rings and then sometimes you get calamari and it's literally like... Yeah, I Hello. know, I hated that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Did I actually scare you just then? Right, when I came in the other day with, with that the fig. fig. <laughs> I took a bite out of a fig. It looked like a head with like a demogorgon It looked like a face. demogorgon, yeah. Mm. Look at that. Is it nice? Mm. I can't yeah, believe it. Yeah, it is like tangy and sweet. Like, I've never seen this anywhere else. Go Trader yeah. Joe's. I wonder how many people... Whoa! How many it's people It's tart, it? isn't it? All right, real tart. That's yummy though. Got a nice sweetness to it. It was tart though. This is crazy. At Trader Joe's, some staples must stay. Yeah, and then some just. And then other things must come and go. You must get so annoyed if like you if find you, loved... you love these. Yeah. And they stop doing it. There them. must be so many flops in Trader mm. Joe's as well. Because they're so out there. What are you giving that out? Like, really do you good. love it, love it? I really love that. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Really? Mm. I think the idea and like the creation of Trader Joe's is amazing. Ten out of ten. But for me, I would much rather the Trader Joe's um, succulent and juicy mm. mango slices. They're almost up there for me. Really? The mango's still better, but that's pretty close second. They are good. They were just a bit mm. tart. And it's weird to get my head around eating like a plant. Yeah. Harvest blend herbal tea. Oh, caffeine free. Mm. I like the fox. 
He's cute. He's really cute. And going back to the whole stylizing, yeah. haven't we said before that there are some things in Trader Joe's that look really old fashioned? Yeah. And this is one of them. Yeah. Like that looks really old fashioned, like but, a kid's book or but something. But is that because it's like a harvest blend? It's meant to be Maybe. like almost nostalgic. Targeting. It's meant to be friendly. Reminds you of being at your grandmother's yeah. or something. Yeah, that's true. And targeting like an old audience. Do you know what's funny? The number of times we've been sent tea. And it's caffeine free. Really? Yeah. You know those um celestial? Are they They're caffeine all caffeine free, free yeah. Oh my God. Which is so funny because like so many Americans drink coffee, which is obviously massively oh, yeah, caffeinated. Caffeine. So then maybe Maybe they and have tea this is less before popular. bed or yeah, do you know maybe, what I mean? Yeah. I think a lot of Americans have herbal tea before bed. Enjoy a piping hot cup of harvest blend herbal tea, one of our seasonal favourites. A fox enjoying a cup of tea? Of course, it happens all the time. <laughs> If the tea is Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea, a blend of cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, chamomile, roasted chicory, roasted chicory, orange peel, and apple flavor, your unbridled joy with each sip will make you feel like a fox in the hen house or a wise owl who's just discovered the secret to eternal happiness. That's right, all in a simple cup of tea. I wonder how many people contact the customer um, complain line and say, right, I didn't feel like an owl yeah. or, a, you know, I want my money back. Hot tea by the cup. Pour boiling water directly over tea bag in a cup. Let steep for four to six minutes. Remove tea bag. Add sweetener if, if desired. Oh, oh no. I love these. This is like the celestial. This is exactly like that. Oh, smell that. That really works. Whoa. That really works because you couldn't smell that before. No, and it means you can keep it in the cupboard and yeah. it's not. A lot of you say, what would you repurchase? I generally would repurchase that Celestial tea. Mm. It's amazing, oh, the no. peach. Do you know what I'd repurchase and I have looked at, but it's so expensive. Blueberry green tea. Oh, I've that still got is the tin expensive, in there. isn't it? It's like the best thing ever. While that steeps, we've got two candies. Mm. We've got organic berry. Tiny gummy, soft and chewy gummy candies. And we've got sour jelly beans, a colorful, sweet and tart chewy candy. I love both branding, but that there is, I think, really good. That really I really like that font they use. Yeah, like, and the pink and... I wouldn't like that for anything else, but it really works on that. Yeah, it does. Organic. My kids only eat organic. I don't have kids. These are teeny. Teeny. These are cutest little gummy bears ever. They feel really good, don't you think? Yeah. And I kind of feel like these are giving me Albanese vibes. <gasps> oh, they seem oh. really soft. And... That pale pink was pink grapefruit. Mm, that's really lovely. If you get your kids on these, they won't enjoy Haribo. Wow. Haribo is massive. And here's Trader Joe's making better mm. gummies than them. Well, obviously it's personal preference, but I would say. Mm -hmm. It says Bujorn there. So Bjorn. maybe it's a... I wonder if that's who makes them. And maybe that's why there's nothing on the back. Because Trader Joe's can't necessarily make, make all these everything. things for I know, themselves. I they probably that. just um, outsource it to different people. Oh my word, these are 10 out of 10. They are really nice. And I would go close to saying um, they're my next favourite after Albany's. Although they're pretty there good. is no. another brand. I would put those catchers we tried recently above those. Really? I prefer oh, them. I love these so much. I'm not, even though these are much nicer than the Haribo ones I've had, I would much prefer those catcher yogurt. The yogurt. You they're kind of bigger like bite. bite. Yeah. yeah. These are phenomenal. I think my favourite gummy bears of all time are the Albany's. And then mm. there is another brand called Forest or something. They're like in a bag and it's greeny blue mm. with a pocket. They're like forest something forest green or the, something um, and then these are up there as well the Albany's Amazing. are just such lovely flavour they really are nice bite, and the they? texture is just phenomenal mm. right 10 out sour of 10 sour jelly beans Ooh, mm. I forgot they were sour oh they are sour really sour what flavour did you go so sour it's hard to tell it went red I do think sometimes it's whatever flavour you get but that blue wasn't a sour whoa the orange is still pretty sour oh the orange is very sour mm. Um, it's like sherbet. If you like sour things, mm. you'll like those. I think I would opt for normal jelly beans. Mm. I'm going gummy bears over these. Look, it's quite they a fun experience nice. to have two, but I couldn't eat a whole bag of those. Mm. But then maybe that's why some people like them, because you can only have a couple yeah. at a time. I feel like I'm in pain. I'm not in pain, but it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not a nice experience every time I bite into one. <laughs> I'm not as in pain as Alex. I I enjoyed them, but if I was to pick out of the two, oh, these okay, are way above. Well. 
I'm but done. at least they are sour. I hate it when we get scent stuff that says it's sour. You bite into it and you're like, that's not well, sour. Well, I almost said to you when you said, oh, I forgot they're sour. I was going to say, well, I doubt they're that yeah. sour, but they are. They're up there, aren't yeah. they? At least the sour feels quite fresh, though. Mm. It doesn't feel like I've just got loads of citrus, yeah. nitrogen. What is it? Citric acid. Citric acid. Citric nitros. Bring in the tea. Oh, this is strong. This almost smells like something we've eaten from. Trader Joe's. That smelled very strong. You know, like, no, autumnal, exactly what you mean, like, yeah. by, I can't remember yeah. what it was. Like a little cookie or something. It smells like a, a biscuit. candle. Or a candle, yeah. Wow, that's strong. We might need to leave that for a minute Righty more. ho, right. We have got a non-food item. <sighs> Pumpkin overnight face mask. Mm. Doesn't that look fun? I can't wait to go back to America and go to Trader Joe's because Summer Flowers sent us candles. Yeah. And then obviously Michelle has sent us this face mask. face mask. I have never once looked at the Trader Joe's things like this. Yeah. I've always gone and looked at food. I never really noticed anything else. Right. So when I next go, I'm gonna be right in these sections. Oh, that looks good. And this is perfect for you if the pumpkin spice thing you you're don't obsessed in, with. <laughs> or you don't enjoy eating pumpkin spice, but you like the smell. If you don't enjoy eating, I can't imagine you'd want the smell on your face. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Pumpkin is more than just a full figurehead, and with the glow of summer fading fast, your pretty, parched visage will appreciate the assist. Fortunately for you, we formulated Trader Joe's Pumpkin Overnight Face Mask to leave your skin feeling soft and rejuvenated. What are you waiting for? Let's give them pumpkin to talk about. Ah, that's clever. Good pun. Smells nice, doesn't it? That's not too lovely. It's not too pumpkin-y no. at all. That is amazing. Looks like a lovely, oh, lovely right, texture. Well, we'll have to put that on. Um, we can put it on tonight. No, we'll put it on tonight. So it says overnight. Like overnight oats. Yeah, so you obviously add like a layer well, it's and like then a, just leave like it on overnight. Like a night moisturiser. Ooh, I'm going gonna to use that tonight. It does look luxurious. Uh, especially after doing makeup today, you know, yeah. my body's not used to it. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Keeping it, oh, well, and she's, she's even saying me. we need it. Yeah, we need it, yeah. Or she just thought yeah, about us. Yeah. <laughs> not looking as youthful, youthful as we used to Youthful as like. when we started. Yeah. Right, and then last but not least, we've got some green tea infused mints. Mm, that sounds so, cool. So this is a cute little um, tin. Mm. It's one of those ones where once you finish, you can re-top with new mints or something yeah. and just keep in your purse or your car, back of the car. Or like I've got those tins for Altoids, oh, is it? Yes. And I love keeping like They're little things nice in like tins, USB sticks and SD cards in them. Why, thank you. Are you not having one? No, I have one. Mmm, <laughs> that's I not what I was expecting at all. Yeah, minty, mm. but they do taste like tea. Herbaly. Green tea. Yeah, but like, I'm not the biggest green tea drinker. These are delicious. I, that is so nice. The you mint's should get lovely. tea then, that is mint and green tea. Yeah. You'd probably really like mm. that. Mm. Yeah, that's lovely. It's a really lovely soft flavour. The mint's more of a spearmint, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It doesn't say what it is. It's not too powerful. It's not like it? a peppermint. Mm. And then you just get like an underlying of like herbal. Like kind of tea bag. Yeah, tea. Yeah, a little bit of tea Do you leaf. not think it tastes like fruity tea in a way? No. Mm, I'm really enjoying that. I think that. that's just the way the mint is combining with the tea. So like, I think it's uh, fruity. Yeah. These are nice because I feel like even if I had one, I could still eat something afterwards and not yeah the taste not be ruined because of mint so if you're someone who wants to just like freshen up the mouth but doesn't want that really strong yeah. mint flavor mm. it's very natural isn't it whereas sometimes when you buy the traditional mints it's like wiped your mouth clean Completely, of yeah. any flavor and, and any... then like you can't even drink or yeah. eat anything for like two hours and it's not i'm not getting that thing up my nose where it's like clearing my nose mm. out as well or anything mm. i'm really enjoying that Mm, First nice. time I've ever had a green tea infused mint and yeah. it's 10 out of 10. Right, should we try this tea then? In our American flat track mug we got from Christina Marie. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. That's nice actually. Is it strong? No, again, it's that kind of thing where it smells stronger than it tastes. It actually tastes really nice and warming. Perfect for like a cold night in, you know, warming up. And if you enjoy all of those flavors, cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, cinnamon, and apple, you'll really enjoy this. And what's nice is, you know, when you have herbal tea and it tastes really weakened, mm. I don't think that tastes very no. weak. I think it's quite strong. I'm just not the biggest fan of all of those flavors. Yeah. It's not my taste. Yeah. Now you might think that's the end of the video, but our wonderful friend Liz, 
and the Southside Girls sent us a box of goodies to try over Christmas, but there were just a couple items that we hadn't ever tried before, yeah. so we wanted to put them in a video. So should we try them now? Let's add them in here. We have got... Harvest Snaps, Green Pea Snap Crisps, which we have tried, we but have these are the White Cheddar Edition. Sharp and creamy. Which sound amazing. And it says powered by plant protein. And you New really size. like the Harvest Snaps, don't I you? I love them. Um, I don't know what it is, but there's something about these, these chips that are like made to look like pea shoots. I they really are like. They are though, aren't they? They're not real. They've been like, they've been I ground they down. I thought they were freeze-dried. No. What? No, because there's no pea in them, is there? Yeah, our first ingredient is green peas. Of course that's the first ingredient. They don't just freeze-dry them, though. I thought they were like, you know, those okra chips. I'm pretty sure they're like ground down into some kind of thing and then they're uh, shaped like that and baked or oh, cooked right. or whatever. Well, silly me. That's what I always used to think, but it's I not. thought it was generally a no. freeze-dried... No, because if I broke it in half, you'd see a pea oh, in there. There's right, no pea okay. in there. There's a pea in there. Mm -hmm. oh, White they, cheddar. I love the original flavour. Do you prefer have these? To say, these are amazing. I prefer these to the original flavour. Mm. The white cheddar is quite um, mm. strong though, isn't it? Really strong. It's almost like a blue cheese in a way. I wouldn't say that strong. Is that? No. So are you loving those? Love those. That's a new size. It's a good size bag. Really good size. It's a real they, thick bag. Weren't they really it? big before? Yeah, a big sharing bag. And this is more handy, you know, just... Mm -hmm. To yourself. Yeah. It looks like a nice cheese in the photo. Oh my word. Did you know though that this is a whole serving? How many calories do you think are in there? Mm, it is a big bag. Bearing in how many grams? 57. So that's like a grab bag. 150. 260 calories in here. And that's one serving. One serving. That seems a lot in there, doesn't it? Mm. You think you're having a nice, healthy bag of chips. But I can't believe that counts as a serving because <laughs> whenever I have crisps, it's not like the main part of a meal. It's on no. the side. Yeah. So I wouldn't have that whole bag. That's like bag a grab bag. Like I with think. a sandwich. Yeah. No, but still, even if it's a grab bag, it could say two servings, couldn't it? Yeah, that is a lot like of calories. Like 260 well. calories of Chris seems like mm, a lot, doesn't it? It is. Next up, and lastly for this box, we have Mast Candy. Oh, that's a really satisfying Ziploc oh. bag. Kind of like they've made their own Rocky Road. Yeah, this home style really candies. And it's safety sealed. Look, that's clever, mm. isn't it? What are we keeping it safe from? <laughs> you. Me, <laughs> yeah. Dad. <laughs> now, I don't know about these ones, but um, in the box, you did send us some like Amish thing. Ooh, wow. Smells amazing. Be interesting what kind of chocolate they use. That'll be make or break, won't yeah. it? Yeah, it's an old fashioned candy store. Since, Since 1883. 1883. Oh look, there's some like fruity bits in there. Oh no, that's an almond. Ooh, look at all those marshmallows. Oh, that's thick. It's a thick boy. Hmm. Mm. Really nice. Very homemade. It's so thick. It's like a slab. And it's packed full of marshmallows and nuts. Remember it's that time we nuts. got that slab thing? It was like a... In a yellow box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was basically like a slab of chocolate. It was marshmallows. Peanuts. Peanuts. I think biscuity bits were there. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was. But you like order it. And then you like give it to family at like a certain time of year. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, it's peanuts in there and almonds. Mm, really mm. nice. The marshmallow is lovely. Am I wrong in thinking that over here a Rocky Road would have raisins in? Most of the time, sometimes. most of the time, a Rocky Road here is not nuts. Mm. A biscuit pieces, raisins, marshmallows, chocolate. Mm. But then you do get some places that don't put any raisins in. Right. It's just like biscuit, marshmallow, chocolate. That's really lovely. Whereas they've got peanuts and almonds. Mm. It's much more nutty. But I do feel like in America, you are more nutty people. And I don't mean in the head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of things seem to have nuts. nuts. Um, it gives a lovely earthy quality to it. It stops it from getting too sweet. Yes. And it's nice and like earthy and the it chocolate does keep is it really more lovely. Earthy, doesn't the it? marshmallow is lovely and chewy. I thought that was delicious. Even the chocolate, the marshmallows. I don't really like nuts too much, but a little bite was nice. Mm. Thank you, Liz and the Southside Girls. That was yeah, absolutely thanks, delicious. Girls. And Michelle, thank you for another wonderful box. We will be sending Michelle a box of British treats back to enjoy. If anyone would like to try some, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's a great way for you guys to support the channel. A five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. <laughs> I was waiting for Treat of the week. I was, as I was saying that, I was like, oh, treat the week, treat the week, treat the week. And I always went five, six, seven, eight, but then you like to get your little bit in, okay, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Drum roll. Um, I think my treat of the week, my treat of the week from Trader Joe's will be these hibiscus Ooh. flowers. These are really lovely, great and find, different. and I've never heard of them before. I've heard of hibiscus, but I'd never heard of no dried. dried hibiscus flowers. Very impressive. I think my other treat of the week will go to these harvest snap peas. Yeah, I thought you'd like Because I love these so much. Yeah. They're so good. My treat of the week are these organic bears. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. And the pumpkin mask. But I'm going to give an honourable mention to this Rocky Road. Yeah, I really, so really enjoyed that. That'll be nice with a cup of tea, won't it? Mm. Um, Michelle and Liz and the Southside Girls, thank you so much for more delicious treats. Absolutely enjoyed them. And I can't yeah. wait to put my face mask on tonight. <laughs> and get rejuvenated get rejuvenated yeah. anyway we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya